Hello everyone, Bjorn Strong in the Arm here. Welcome to RimWorld. Now, RimWorld is a colony simulation game. It's a game that takes its inspiration from games like uh, Dwarf Fortress and also takes its inspiration, it says, from the TV show Firefly. And that's why I'm here playing it. I have never played it before. This is a, a blind playthrough. I have played for about maybe 10 minutes earlier today just to kind of get a feel for how it works, but that's that's really it. But I want to play it. I want to give it a try because uh, I really liked Dwarf Fortress. I really like Firefly. Those are two great tastes. I'm really excited to see if they're going to taste great together. So I want to give this, give this a try. Now, this is the kind of game that I'm sure that uh, as... Time goes on and we get further into it. I'm going to be needing to do kind of a lot of research and finding out more things about it. But right now, when I'm just starting out, I want to just try it fresh, come to it kind of cold and and see what I like. With that in mind, if you're watching and if you have kind of more experience with this game, if you have any suggestions or uh, hints, nothing you kind know, of spoilery, if, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes sense for a game like this or not, if there's anything spoilable, but um, you know, chips on strategy, things I might want to look about trying, uh, please do leave them in the comments. I would love to, to see some suggestions, something that'll kind of help improve my gameplay. Um, and yeah, with that, let's, uh, let's do this. New colony. So, okay, so I guess there are different scenarios, but um, I'm going to go ahead I, with what I think is kind of just the standard. So, it's crash landed, three of you wake up in your credit... Crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods where the ship is torn apart. You will uh, start with three people of a colony and some silver, some survival metal, some medicine, some components, a rifle, a pistol, a plastic knife, a random pet. That's kind of cool. Steel and wood. And this is the map of some ship chunks, some steel, and some packaged survival meat. So that's what we're going to have. So that sounds good. Let's just run with that. Now, as I understand it, the storyteller is what the part of the, the game engine that governs uh, what says, you know, raids, resource drops, uh, the way that things kind of unfold. And there are three different versions. There's the Cassandra version. It says that Cassandra creates a story events on a steadily increasing curve of challenge and tension. That sounds kind of pretty standard. There's Phoebe Chillax. It says Phoebe, you have lots of time between disasters to relax and build your colony. So it sounds like this is going to be the kind of more, uh, the more relaxed, you know, not so stressful version. And there's Randy Random. It says Randy doesn't follow rules, generate random events. Does care think a story of triumph or utter hopelessness? So this, I think, is this is just going to throw, you know, whatever it throws at us is going to throw at us. So I'm actually really tempted by by Randy Random. It sounds like that would be a lot of fun. But I think maybe for my first time through, I should go ahead and just try the uh, classic version. And then there's like a level of difficulty, and I don't really know. Uh, how to interpret this. You know, I've not played it before. I don't know how rough rough is, for instance, how challenging challenge is. Uh, but uh, this is the way that we're meant to be played. But let's see. Let's try rough. Kind of, it looks like the middle, the middling spot. It's like a fair spot for a uh, first time through. So let's give that a go. Now, to create the world, we use a seed. And let's just try, uh, whoops, Bjorn for a seed. Uh, it's standard. I guess it's the standard size. We'll just try that. Hit generate. All right. Ooh, that's an interesting looking world. Looks like there's a whole lot of uh, water and ocean on it. And then there's land here and here. Um, and now I can, can zoom in uh, and kind of look around for a good landing site. I'm not really sure what I want in a landing site. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I can click on these. You get what do I get? I get elevation. I mean, that just says where it is. The temperature, and I have the temperature set to Fahrenheit so that I can understand them. I don't. Uh, I've lived in places where Celsius gets used, but I don't really can't internalize it. But I have an idea. You know, 70, 52 to seventy-seven. That's that's a pretty temperate um, range, even though it's extreme desert, which is interesting. Oh, that's why because it only gets eighty-three millimeters of rainfall a year. It's not right. It's flat. Uh, has some stone and oh, and a year round growing period that actually sounds really good. I kind of like this spot. Um, 
But you know what? It's a desert. I wonder if that means it won't have any wood to harvest. So let's try green. Is Okay, so green looks kind of foresty. So it looks like uh, there's stone types, lots of rain. It's flat. Uh, 46 to 77. That was a pretty good temperature. Um, the growing period, it says 11th of winter to 1st of winter. So I don't fully understand the growing period, but I take it that's when uh, you can, can grow. And yeah, that looks, I mean, that's most of the year. So let's uh, let's try this. Let's try it. All right, and this is our colony characters. So let's see. So we have um, Ziggy, Ziggy, Zygmunt, Ziggy Fuchs. That's a, a unfortunate last name. Um, let's see, backstory, he was a wreckage explorer. Oh, that's cool. A couple generations before he was born, it was an apocalyptic war. He was tethered watching his tribe's herds, but he kind of went in and explored. That's pretty cool. Um, you can do anything. He's a bit greedy, a jealous, but steadfast. That's interesting. What's he good at? He's good at cooking. He could do some research, which I don't really understand the research yet, but uh, he can do some growing, do some, some construction. Um, yeah, work with animals. He's not a super great fighter or hunter, maybe, but uh, he can. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. So a math professor, so she can really go for uh, the medicine, the research, I mean, and she can go for medicine too. Construction, she can do quite a lot too. She can't do dumb labor, so I'm not quite sure what uh, dumb labor means. Oh, but look, she is, I mean, her body, it looks like it's beat up. She's got cryo problems with her eyes. She's got a scar, a bad back. So, huh, okay. And a little bit of minor asthma. And we've got, oh, oh my gosh. These are old people. 82, 80, okay. All right, it won't be ageist. We'll just go with it. Uh, refugee. He was a medieval farm oaf. Oh, good heavens. Okay. He's incapable of doing intellectual things or scary things. He's lazy. He's like, oh, wow. This is like, a, <laughs> this is like a, not a good combination. We have we have uh, the math professor who is really smart, but um, is like dying on her feet, it looks like. And then we've got this asthma guy who's lazy and can't do anything smart. He's really with growing, though. Um, yeah, so we could actually, I guess, hit randomize and try somebody different, but, uh, let's, yeah, let's just go with what they gave us. So they gave us, uh, 20 year old colonist and, and, and a couple that are 80 years old. They're not related to each other, but in any way, but, uh, yeah, let's give it a go. All right, it says the three of you awaken your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods where the ship is torn apart. Well, at least we made it. Sometime later, you land on this unknown of rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so wait, what's this? It's the stuff here. Oh, th that's them. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's look around at what we've got. You can assign a tame animal... Oh, okay, hold it. Um, let me change sessions. So yeah, so I've just paused it. Now as we go along, we're going to get these kind of uh, instructions. So I guess these here are problems that come up. So like we don't have, we have someone who needs treatment. Um, uh, if they don't get, they will die with their wounds. So click to jump to problems. So Tomboy needs treatment. He has the, oh, he has the asthma. So that might be worrisome. Um, she's got problems and so does he, but they seem to be, I don't know. It's not really showing them as having problems, I guess. Uh, it says, treat them by sending to a medical bed. So I guess we'll have to make a medical bed at some point. Um, we need some beds. So we'll have to make some of them. Uh, there's a colonist who's assigned as a hunter but has no weapon. They'll have will have a hunt by like carrying a weapon. Click to jump to problem. So who's the hunter? So Tomboy's the hunter. Oh, figures. He's going to die of asthma out hunting probably. 
And okay, and then build a room. So it says a room is composed of separate wall pieces with door. Use the architect menu at the bottom left of the screen to designate where you want things built. If you designate something to be built, your colonists can do the work when they can. Now, um, oh, ancient danger. As Tomboy draws near the ancient wall, a sense of foreboding overcomes her. She isn't sure why, but she feels this dusty structure may contain great danger. Wow. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I don't know what to, I don't have to think about that. Let's, uh, let's stay away from this structure a bit then maybe and build out over here a bit. Now, I should probably go ahead and build something over here. Um, but before I can do any of that, there's all of our stuff that's landed here. Yeah, it's got this, this forbidden. Uh, that's one of the things I, I learned while I was playing with it earlier is, is stuff starts out forbidden and over to use it, you have to unforbid it. So I think I can just kind of make a big selection. Oh, no, that's not going to work. That maybe. All right. I can unforbid that stuff. Let's see. No, it keeps going to the people. So what was that? Oh, it's a male. It's a monkey. Cool. All right. Let's zoom in a little bit. So we, Okay. So. So here, okay, here are all a bunch of things that need to be uh, unforbidden. So that looks pretty good. Uh, pistol, we can unforbid that. And actually, who is our hunter? Uh, hunter lacks weapon. Tomboy is our hunter. So we should have a pistol. And didn't it say a, a rifle? Or am I just, did I just imagine that? Um, that's a knife. Looks like our stuff is kind of scattered a little bit, but... Oh, here's some more. So let's see if we found all of our stuff. I think so. So let's give this pistol then to Tomboy. So to do that, we click on Tomboy and then right-click on the pistol. Um, and you can equip it. Okay, so now he has got uh, something to hunt with. So let's see if that goes away. All right, that's gone away. Is Ziggy going to get bad vibes here? I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and build some... Well, let's build a room. Let's build a room for us to live in first. And then we can build... Um, build a room for us to sleep in. And we can build a place to store stuff, maybe. But let's, yeah, let's start with this. So let's build a wall. And not enough stone. Oh, I see. You can pick... Let's build a wood wall. Because I see there's all this wood kind of laying around. So we should be able to build that. Maybe... Um, I'm a little worried about that thing. Maybe kind of up here. And then there and there. And then we can also build a wood door right there. And we can also go to the furniture here and we can build a bed. Now, is there a special kind of bed? I don't see any special kind of bed for medical stuff. So let's just go ahead and build a bed. I'll build it out of wood. Oh, there's not enough wood left. Okay. In that case, maybe what we should do is start gathering some wood. There's tons of trees here. So I think that can find uh, orders chop wood let's just chop all the wood around here that's a good start oh, we got a lot of stone too I can build a stone door over here so furniture oh not furniture structure uh, oh silver steel or wood I don't th think we have oh it did build after all that's kind of weird it said it wasn't enough and then it built it anyway all right so i'm still gonna have to learn how this all works um all right what else is it that we need it says colonist needs treatment yeah you gotta get him to a medical bed oh you get make a bed select it and toggle it as a medical bed okay so once that bed gets made let's make that a wooden bed all right got enough now i'll put it right there and this can then be our little medical room, maybe. So that seems like a good start. How's, how's Kisa doing? What is she doing? 
She's wandering. That doesn't sound very uh, helpful, but I guess once Tomboy gets his bed made here, we can make it medical, and then she can go and, and um, help him, maybe? Uh, it's reserved by Tomboy. Cannot... Pro oh, okay. So wait, I right-click the bed. It's not helping. Let the woo... Ah, select the wounded colonist and right click on the bed. Ah, it's not making any sense to me. Just says prioritize building area. Okay, is she helping him now? Let's see. Let's see what she's doing. Yes, she's sending a tomboy, so he's getting treatment. Excellent. Let's see how his health is doing. That doesn't really mm, we'll see. We'll see. Um, and he's not doing anything. So let's see if I go over to work, it says who can do what Ziggy's the drifter. Wait a minute. What's this thing? Room stats inspect toggle in the bottom right. I'll do that in a second. So Ziggy's a drifter. He, uh, can, can't be a doctor. He can do bed rest. He can cook. He can't, he's not really able to do much. Can he? Construct, yeah, let's let him construct things. Tomboy doesn't have enough to do everything. Um, we can craft things, I think. We should be able to let him uh, mine. And is there one for oh, cutting? Ooh, cutting plants and grow. Yeah, let's let him do everything he can, really, at this point. We don't have a whole lot of, uh, whole lot of people. But... Okay, yeah. So we're expecting impressiveness, wealth and beauty in the room using room stack inspect in the bottom right. So this is glowing. Okay, toggle room stat displays. Displays room stat to the room where the mouse is pointing. So let's... Oh, it says Tomboy's bedroom. It's dull, impoverished, cramped, neutral, and dirty. But he's going to have to just deal with that because that's what we got right now. And he's the only one with a bedroom. And we should probably... Ooh, Get some more bedrooms made, but maybe before we do that, something else that I think we need to do is get some food planted. Um, Tomboy's our hunter. He's getting he's getting fixed up. Once he is fixed up, we can send him look around, see what kind of animals we've got. All right, yeah, some big game around here. We can have him kind of go and shoot that. But we're going to want to be growing th things. Is that an ice cream cone? Oh, it's a barrette. Um, we're going to be growing things here as well. So let's go to uh, the zone area. Growing zone. And let's see. I, I do want to kind of work around that because I'm curious if there's something kind of spooky going on in there. But... Uh, well, just start out right here. A nice big growing zone. All right. And then if we select it, so growing season's here. So I hope, please, someone will. Uh, oh, I can click with the plant. Oh, that's cool. What should I plant? I think potatoes sounds smart to me, to be honest. Um, they're. They're not great, but they'll keep you alive. Uh, so that looks pretty good. So let's go back to uh, getting things moving along. Oh, he's oh, he's putting a roof on. I see. All right, he's gonna go start planting. It looks it looks like is it is what Ziggy's doing. Oh, he's cutting dandelions and he's putting the plants there. Okay, so Tomboy, he has been. Whoops, where would he go? He has been treated, and now it's just minor asthma. So he's getting some rest, and he'll be able to do some stuff later. What is Kisa doing? Uh, she's wandering. Okay. Well, let's see. What is she able to do? Not a whole lot. Warden, art, research. Okay, and... Uh, she could be doing some construction, I guess. That wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, let's have her do construction and maybe doing some mining. And then I, I think I think mining must include chopping down trees. 
So what I'm going to do now is I am going to try to chop down some more trees. There we go. Like right around here. Oh, just them. Oh, these plants aren't grown big enough. Okay. We'll chop down those trees there. And then what we'll do is we'll start building a couple more rooms, maybe just right along here. And uh, what I'll do is then I will just uh, let it run. And when something interesting happens, we'll uh, cut back. Okay, it's the next day and uh, our bedrooms are all made up. I don't know why we don't have a door there yet. I might have to uh, just double check that that got, order got placed. Oh, already exists here. Okay. But I think now is a time to actually start thinking about and uh, planning what our base is going to look like. So I was kind of looking around. Um, let's kind of zoom out. We've got a big, big area here. And I kind of think we're not optimally placed in it. We're kind of, what's this? Um, it's kind of a slate structure down here. It's like there was a colony here maybe or something here once and it was abandoned. But yeah, I'm not sure we're optimally placed because there's this thing right here that I'm a little nervous to start digging into. Um, and then there's this, this pool of water right here. So I don't mind that we have this little, little area here. But I think maybe we want to put the base kind of more in this area. So I want to think about how exactly we want to do this. We've got a little farm right here. It makes sense to me to go ahead and try to put our farms close to the water. I don't know if that will make any difference or not, but if it was uh, real life, it would. In fact, actually, yeah, I'm looking at it. It looks like these ones here say 93% growth rate, and these say 80. And these ones, they're kind of in mud. So I'm guessing that, yeah, they get a better growth rate maybe that way. So I think, yeah, we, we're going to have a base here. We're going to have a, a, a colony, and it would make sense to start uh, building things in a way that we want to make it more permanent. So what's that going to look like? Well, we're going to need storage for all of our stuff. And if we're going to have the food here, what we might do is have uh, a food storage kind of in this area. And then we're going to have hunting as well. And maybe even livestock. I'm not sure if there's a... There must be a setup for livestock somehow in this game. But... Uh, Maybe some livestock kind of up here and then a butcher area and a food prep over in this region. So if we do that, then one way we could do it is kind of make it so where we come down here and this is kind of all of the, the food type areas. And then we kind of come down on this side and we can have like the living type areas and resources kind of put way up here. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a distance, kind of a long ways, but I think yeah, I think something like that ought to work. So I guess the first thing we want to do is well, actually, the first thing I want to do is just check something really quick. So if I try to build a wall right there, is it going to have problems? I don't think so. Not enough wood stored, but that's okay. I can take him out. But okay, so we can build, we can definitely build a, a wall just kind of wherever. So we have temporary bedrooms. I don't think we need to be worried about that so much. Let's actually come way up here. Uh, let's come up here. Let's chop down a bunch of trees in this area so that we can build around them. And then what I want to do is start building kind of a storage area so we can start getting ourselves organized. So to do that, let's build uh, walls. I'm still learning my way around here. And I'm not sure how big to make these storage areas, but let's, let's try like this for now. Uh, not enough room now, but that's fine. We'll get more wood. So let's see, one, two, three, four, that one two three four that 
one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay. And now take that out. One, two, three. Not a door. That's not what I wanted. Two, three, four. And like that. So yeah, let's build those like that. Let's actually, I think, leave a hole for now. Because I think we're going to be maybe having a lot of wood. So let's go ahead also and put in a uh, big area for wood storage back up here. So go to storage, we clear all, and then if I remember how this works right, we find uh, oh, resources, raw resources, wood. So we will allow just that's just just for wood back there and let's go all right guys let's uh see what happens as they start working on that it looks like she's going for a walk taking some personal time cloud watching building wooden wall somebody's doing what they're supposed to and hopefully we'll have some uh stuff chopped down now it looks this looks really hazy it's uh it's 64. Is that meant to be like a heat haze? 64 seems awfully like cool for a heat haze. So Kisa needs something to do. Uh, what is she able to do? Not a whole lot. Um, research, art, mine, repair. She can't construct things. Let her grow or cook, but I mean, just, yeah. Uh, not a lot to do. What's she doing now? Just wandering around. Cloud watching. All right. Go, Kisa. All right, so they're chopping. Now, uh, I do think we also need to really be thinking about some food. So let's uh, get some of these guys. Well, I can tame them as well. Um, all right, let's try to tame a couple of gazelles. That's, oh, it may attack on a failed taming attempt. Well, let's not do that then. Let's just hunt it. Let's hunt these gazelles for now. But in order to make that work, if I understand right, it's not enough to hunt them. We're going to have to be able to, um, like butcher them as well. So let's make... A place for them to uh, for the dead for them when they're dead place for them to uh, get put and I said I wanted yeah the butchery stuff right here so let's actually put it right here uh, it's probably a lot but we'll do that and for storage this is gonna be um, Actually, I think if I remember right, I was looking at this earlier when I was messing around. I think it's got to be, yeah, animal corpses. So we'll put animal corpses there. And then we got to figure out how to butcher it. So make a... Uh, power? No, production. Production, okay. A butcher's table. And, yeah. Um, oh, not enough steel. We need steel. Where do we get steel? They're all sleeping. So do I have to mine to find steel? I bet I do. Is there... I don't... I'm scared of that still. Uh, actually, st I mean, steel, you can't even mine for it. You just have to... But wait, let's, let's mine this slate. Let's... Uh, See what happens if we just mine all this slate out. Mine. There we go. So we find anything that can be used for steel. That um, the wood is going in there very nicely. We've got the auto saving is going nicely. Um, 
You know, poor tomboy. He's got so much to do. Now, okay, so one thing I don't understand, but I'll have a look at real quick. If I go to um, K Kisa, she can do research. So when I was over here in the um, production area, there was a simple research bench. So we need 100 steel for that, but it looks like once you have it, you can, yeah, so it's to discover new things. So I don't know what that would be, but that sounds like it'd be kind of super handy. So yeah, I need to figure out how to find some steel. Let's see. So what, is that my steel amount of steel? Nothing at all. Okay. Well, these guys will go ahead and, and uh, keep chopping down. Um, let's just have a look where we are. We've got a bit of a start. We've got uh, Tomboy's all healed up. We've got ourselves some bedrooms. Some, some crops are growing. Uh, got some turkeys. Actually, you know what? I don't want to do that. Let's tame these turkeys. Because, you know, I'm less worried about an attacking turkey than I am about than I am about an attacking gazelle. Maybe I shouldn't be. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with a wild boar. Um, I might hunt it. But yeah, maybe we could see if we can tame some turkeys and, and get some some uh, food, food built up that way. Okay, still no steel. Let me just check one more thing really quick here on production. Is there, there's stove, tailoring bench, um, uh, is there anything that's like a uh, well, let's pause it because these things popped up. Is there anything that there's nothing, nothing is like a, uh, a smelter or anything. I have no idea how I'm going to get any steel. I wonder if there's some that landed in it with us and it's still uh, forbidden maybe. I'll have to look around for that. But I'm looking at the time and uh, how long we've been playing and I'm looking here at... Uh, what we've got going on and a whole bunch of stuff just popped up. So We have zero full bars worth of food and storage. That's dangerously low. I agree. That is dangerously low We're probably going to all starve to death here in a few minutes um, We're also all out of medicine uh, We have no way of preparing meals from raw food and We've been so here for a while and we need some defenses so we're gonna have to clear all that stuff up and on top of that apparently we just had some visitors uh, Rex and um, Suli Sula I don't know how to say that so and I have no idea how we're supposed to interact with these guys either but uh, let's see click on them right click on them yeah not doing anything so anyway, yeah, I think we should call this, uh, take a break now, call it um, enough for today. And we're going to have to come back and figure out exactly what, that's not what to do, exactly what to do about this, this low food especially. I had no idea we had gotten so low. So that is really, really worrying. Um, okay, we do have more medicine. It was just forbidden, so now it's not. Maybe if I'm lucky, we've got some more food somewhere and it's just forbidden. So I will scour the map uh, in some more detail between this time and the next. But that's going to be it for me today. Thanks so much for watching. As before, as I said at the beginning, if you've got any suggestions, any ideas of uh, what I should be maybe focusing on next or ideas about a good way to kind of organize this colony so that it, it makes sense, please leave them in the comments. I would love to hear what your ideas are. And with that... Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.